Hello everyone, Lisa Almond Baldwin here and Happy New Year! We did it! We turned the corner and now we have a new book with 365 blank pages to bring forth what we want to bring forth in the new year. Now, I know the last year was very challenging for a lot of us in a variety of areas, both personally and professionally, and a lot of it has to do with the reverb from the pandemic. However, what I want to share with you today is a highly effective strategy for how to not just survive, but thrive in the midst of those changes while also cultivating more mindful, purposeful, and effective leadership skills. So the first step is to recognize and understand that change is inevitable, but growth is optional. Let me say that again. Change is inevitable, but growth is optional. So how are you going to grow from the changes and challenges of the past? The first step is to take a thorough in-depth assessment of what happened. And the reason for that is because like that old adage says, you can't know where you're going until you know where you've been. So I want you to take just a moment to bring to mind the biggest change or challenge you experienced in the past year. And I want you to ask yourself, what did I learn from that change or challenge? Did it affect how I show up in the world? And if so, how? Now, looking at your leadership skills in your career or in your uh, area of expertise, if you had to describe your leadership skills in a few words, what would they be? How do you think other people resonate with or maybe challenged by the way you demonstrate your leadership skills? Are there any areas for improvement? Now, let's be honest with ourselves about that one because we all have things that we can let go of that are not serving us any longer in order to become better, stronger, more firmly rooted in who we are. So what are those areas? And along with that, are there any areas, people, or things that you may have been resisting? And if so, why do you think you've been resisting them? What might the benefits and blessings be for resolving that resistance? Or you might want to hold on to that resistance if it's positively serving you in some way. What do you think was your greatest impact inside and outside of your career field or industry? What are you most happy about completing in the past year? What is the most meaningful thing you learned about yourself? Reflecting on the past by asking yourselves these types of questions gives you a little bit of a roadmap for the road recently traveled, as well as helps you foster more mindful, purposeful, and effective leadership skills. So again, the strategy is to recognize and understand that change is inevitable, but growth is optional. I hope this tip has helped you today as we're moving forward making it into 2023, making it all that we want it to be. I wish you nothing but mindful, purposeful, and effective leadership skills. Bye-bye. I'll see you in the next video.